What's going on traders? This is Jack with the Trading Tribe and we are back at it again with another natural gas futures trading review today. And I wanted to give, you know, a session that we haven't really done in the past here and it's to talk about really a strategy that I like to to use in the markets every now and then, trading counter trend. And this is extremely useful right with futures cuz futures we can trade both ways relatively easily because there's not really any rules or restrictions on either side. So in the futures market, right, I like to focus on natural gas. That's typically my product of choice. Um, if we look at natural gas today, the front month is that August contract. So up here at the top left within Thinkorswim, you'll notice that I am on that Q23 contract. And today, right, we have a pretty clear uptrend. So I've essentially just been buying into these dips. And if I show my trades, I've only taken a few trades so far. Let me update this so those trades flow in here. And then if we zoom in to my trades, right, you'll see that I bought the dip and then scaled out into that move up. And then I bought the dip again and scaled out of that move up. So pretty simple trading today. I've essentially just been taking this as an uptrend, but I'll explain kind of why and how you can use this in your trading as well. I've found a ton of ex success here and we'll kind of talk through why I've chose to do that today, kind of how I knew an uptrend was safe and you know where we could possibly go today as well. And when I like to look at natural gas, I first like to zoom out. So if we zoom out to maybe the 20 or 30 day chart, I like to look at this hourly chart just to get a view of you know the overall direction of natural gas. And we'll see that gas has really been pretty whippy these last few months. So we're looking at the last month specifically um, all the way from you know early June to mid July. And we'll notice that, you know, gas had a pretty substantial move up to right around three last month. And then it essentially ever since then has been getting rejected, right? And making these lower highs and lower lows as well, actually, recently. So we're essentially on, you know, a shorter term downtrend. Um, it's hard to say what's going to happen now with gas because we could have potentially found the bottom. We've pretty much dropped right all year. This is kind of the first sign of an uptrend that we've seen in the market. But as of now, right, we are still fading off and, and not looking super strong on the gas side. So, you know, these last couple months, we've obviously been making a lot more money shorting in the markets from a trading perspective, just with gas dropping as consistently as it's been dropping. But in this case, right, we opened up last night on Sunday right around 2.55. And if we look at just some of the major levels here, we have a lot of levels today. And I'm going to get off that level from today. But we'll kind of take a look at the two major levels that I'm watching here. And from a ceiling perspective or a resistance perspective, I am watching that 2.61 area as that was acting as a pretty strong floor level for this last couple months here. And now that we've broken that and made lower lows, that's typically gonna be an area that price might reject off of. And last week actually it did reject there, so we've kind of gotten confirmation of that. And we also got that lower low. So, you know, this typically indicates a pretty good spot to, you know, at least consider that rotation and, you know, for shorts to jump in. And then on the opposite side of things, right, we do have a pretty strong potential support level if price does drop down to about 2.44. So I'm also being pretty aware of that and just making sure, you know, we are kind of in that range today. But the reason I'm comfortable buying, right, is because we can easily push back to that ceiling level. And I typically like to take trend trades, right, on the channel. We have trade reviews for trend trades and trend trade reviews for breakout trades. Those are typically my two favorite types of trades. And then I also will trade counter trend. So if we think about today, right, today I've been buying because I know that there's room 
right? So sometimes with trading, you don't want to just wait for shorts, right? Because shorts can take a long time. You can miss out on a lot of good buy setups. And so even though this long-term chart is dropping, right, we know we can essentially go up 40 ticks still before a huge crowd of sellers is likely to jump in. And this is a really, you know, unique way to trade, but I do think trading counter trend can make a lot of sense. And if you notice, right, if we just look at today, for example, we've been making pretty clear higher highs and higher lows. So you're essentially waiting for that quality trend setup, but being aware of that long term discrepancy. Obviously, right, we have a, a video on the channel too about time frame, you know, cadence and making sure everything lines up. I do think that's the most important. So in this next week or so, right, if we have those short setups, those are going to be what I'm the most interested in. But this is a really good example of how we can profit from counter trend trading as well as, you know, making sure it's just a quality trade here. And today, you know, we're two for two buying this uptrend. We still have a higher high, so this is kind of the third valid pullback, and essentially this is how I will think about trading the rest of the week. So hopefully you guys appreciate the video. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and have a great day.